They said some things a bit left unsaid. Wasn't like you only talk to him when you know it. Don't be good to me. Hi there, this is Nicholas Casamia, and I'm here with the lead singer of The Clicks. Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm rocking in on a graveyard. So Lucas, the Clicks have a new album. It's called Black Tie Elevator. It's very different. The older, uh, the other albums were more rock based, and this is very, very soul and R and B influenced, almost Motown, one would say. It actually was the easiest and most grounding experience I've ever had because it was the first time that I recorded music that I really, really wanted to sing, and I felt completely in it. You know, it's the first time I get to go into a studio, actually like do the thing and come out and be like, oh, there's my voice, you know, and all the music was exactly what I wanted to do. It was music that I felt really close to, connected to, and that I never felt genuine in before. Your voice sounds really good. Thank you. Um, are you happy with the way you sound? I am unbelievably happy with the way I sound. I finally sound like who I used to hear all the time up here. I always heard a voice coming out of me and that's that was sort of like the separation when I'd hear it coming back to me from a, you know a recording or something. I always thought that when I was singing I sounded different. It was very sort of like disarming to have that happen all the time. It was like a disconnect. You're trying to get me I could taste your fear as you kiss my face do you think it's changed that your voice has changed that radically since the first Clicks album? Oh yeah, it's completely different. I mean, it's not just the testosterone, it's also me growing more confident and me sort of like knowing how to manipulate my voice better and, you know, finally finding it, you know. You're just a singer now. Do you consider yourself part of the queer community or what do you think? I'm, I will always be part of the queer community. I just don't know if the queer community will have me anymore. <laughs> but I, you know, I think they do. It's very strange right now because it's like, you know, I, you know, I pass and now I play shows, and it seems like a lot of my old lesbian fans are sort of like going away, but then new ones are coming in. So it's it's very very different and uh, a very new thing to me right now. I still don't really know where I belong. All I know is that I identify as queer and I love. You know, the LGBT community, they've gotten me to where I am right now, and I'm extremely thankful for it. Thank you. <laughs>